the ethnic cleansing campaign on Western Tigray by Ethiopian forces and its allies has taken the lives of many innocent Tigrayans and left more displaced from their homes due to the atrocities committed on their areas. Their our Kubil Hatu and Melash Tahla are from Turkan in Western Tigray. They say allied Ethiopian and Eritrean forces were systematically attacking Tigrayans to get rid of Western Tigray of its majority Tigrayan population. <laughs> They were shooting when they arrived in our neighborhood. They were selectively shooting Tigrayans, saying the land doesn't belong to them and that they should leave the area. All this started on October 25th of 2020. That day we were working at our farm and they attacked the area using heavy artillery tanks and jets. Many civilians, including children, have lost their lives that day. Many animals were killed too. They massacred to grants brutally, saying that we were anti-Ethiopians. They murdered people in broad daylight, in the place we lived for decades. This was done to us for no particular reason except for our Tigran identity. The IDPs also say they were prevented from burying the bodies of friends and family members and that bodies were left on the street for days, being eaten out by dogs. <laughs> The worst was when they prevented us from burying the bodies. The bodies were left on the streets and were eaten by dogs and vultures. It was impossible to bury the corpse of those that were brutally murdered. This is an act of inhumanity. The IDPs add that all their belongings were looted by the invading forces and that they are barely managing to survive due to the siege imposed on the region. They took all our livestock in front of us. They looted our belongings and there was nothing we could do. We let them take everything. We are not receiving humanitarian aid due to the siege. Life is really difficult here, especially for parents, as we are not able to provide anything to our children. We are living in these plastic tents, but we don't have the simplest drug to lay ourselves on. We get 15 kilograms of wheat every five months, and as you can see, we're barely managing to live. The IDP say the international community is not giving Tigray the attention it needs. I don't think the international community is giving enough attention to the crisis in Tigray. All they do is release statements of concern, which isn't obviously improving anything in our life. I believe this is because we are black. I think the international community has denied the people of Tigray the attention they deserve.